Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add this image split effect for your blogger website. So here we can see when we hover over this image, the image is split into two. And we also have some rotation and scaling and we also have a box shadow. Now in the previous video, I showed you how to design all of this from scratch using HTML and CSS. Now in this video, I'll show you how to add this to your blogger website. So let's get started. <laughs> Right here, I'm in my blogger dashboard and you can add this design into a post or a page. Let's add it inside a post. So let's click on new post and uh, let's add something over here. I'll just type image split effect as the title. And now the next thing you need to do is make sure that you are in the HTML view. So if you are in the compose view, just click on this button and click on HTML view. Now here you can add the HTML and CSS. So let's add them over here. First of all, let's add the CSS. So I'll just create a style tag for that. And now let's go to our source code. So this is the source code and I will leave the link of the source code in the description. So let's copy all the CSS from here. Let's copy it from this line of code because we don't need to have the CSS for the body applied to our blogger post. We just need to add all the styles needed for our split image container. So let's copy it from here till the end. And let's paste it over here inside our post. And now let's add the HTML. So let's go to the index.html file and let's copy this HTML from here. And let's go back to our post and let's paste it over here after the style tag. All right now, the next thing we need to do is we need to update this link of this image. So right now we don't have this images folder in our blogger website. So we have to first of all upload the image. So let's upload the image right here and we'll get the link and paste it over here. So let's click on this button called insert image and let's click on upload from computer. And let's click on this button called choose files. And here we have the car image. So let's click on it and uh, let's click on open. And here we can see the image. So let's click on the image and uh, let's click on select. And here we need to use original size and let's click on OK. So here we can see this is the image and we have the link of the image inside the href attribute. So let's copy this link from here. And uh, let's paste it inside our CSS. So here I just replace this link with our updated link. And now we can go ahead and delete this code from here. Now there's one thing that you have to keep note of which is uh, the dimensions of the image. So this image right here has a width of 640 pixels and a height of 427 pixels. Now you have to make note of these values because we need to input them over here. So here we can see that the width is set to 320 pixels and that's because it is the half of 640 pixels. Now we are adding the half value over here because uh, we need to split the image into two. And then we have set the height of the split image to 427 pixels which is the height of the original image. Now you also have to add the value over here because we need to move the second image 320 pixels to the left. And then if you scroll down, we can see that we have the scale and the rotation and you can go ahead and change these to whatever you want. And we also have the box shadow displayed over here. All right, now let's go ahead and click on publish and confirm. All right, the post has been published. So let's click on this uh, view button. And if you scroll down here, we can see that we have the image displayed. And if you hover over the image, we can see that the image is split into two. Now, if you want to split the image into even more parts, then you have to go back to your post. And here in the HTML, you need to make the changes. So let's say we want to split the image into four parts. So we need to copy these two spans and paste it down over here. So now we can see there are four spans. So this means that the image will be split into four. Now we also need to make the necessary changes over here. So since we are splitting the image into four parts, we need to divide even this value by two. So the half of 320 is 160. So let's change this to 160. And here also you have to make the changes. So for the second image, we need to move it to negative 160 pixels. And we also need to select the third and the fourth image. So let's copy this and let's paste it down here. And here instead of two, we need to type three and we need to move it 160 more pixels. So it makes it 320 pixels. And then for the last image, let's type four over here. 
Now here we need to add 160 to 320 which is 480 pixels. Right now let's update this and let's go back to our post and let's refresh this page and now if you hover over this image we can see that the image is split into four parts. So that's basically how you can add split image effect to your blogger website. Right, so that's it for this video. I will leave the link of the source code in the description. And if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.